of their 18 field goal makes, they scored one basket off all the things that we prepared our guys for. And I would say we taught our guys – we have uh, – this turns into another blog, but – we have certain ways, uh, a route and a rhythm to how we prepare for an opponent, uh, specific to film, specific to the timing. Is it two days before, one day before, day of? Our kids understand it. But we have Georgetown absolutes. And those absolutes are um, unique. And they're unique because of how they play. And I thought uh, of the eight games that we have played Georgetown, I thought our guys – Ability to absorb it, ability to understand it, to communicate it, and to execute it was as good as it's been all along. I think this was a really, really big win for our program. They're a top 25 team, and it puts us at 2-0 and in the Big East. And I think uh, you got to be happy anytime you come out on the top side and win those games. These days in college basketball, there's not a whole lot of difference in, in teams and talent. I mean, even when you're playing mid-major teams, they may be smaller, but they still have guys that can play. It, it really comes down to um, who wants them more on that given day, and that's why we kind of pride ourselves on being first to the floor, diving on loose balls, and, and that's kind of our culture. They're solid. They stick to what they do. They don't let up. You know, they play defense for 35 seconds solid, so you just got to be patient and overcome that. And that's what we did today. It just shows that, you know, we didn't let up from that UConn game. Uh, we came in with the right focus. We know uh, Georgetown's a tough scout. You know, they got a great, that Princeton offense is hard to study and uh, hard to execute. And uh, the guy showed a, a great sign of maturity by, you know, having like three days to prepare for them and coming out and uh, getting the victory, even though it was a low scoring game.